Hello, friends, fans, and family of Front Row at Bop Shop Records. This is Dan behind the camera. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Front Row. We really appreciate your support and viewership. Tonight, we have an amazingly special guest, Mr. Mike Brown. Can we give him a round of applause, please? Our small sort of crowd here. We had such a wonderful time catching up with Mike, learning about what he does at Temperamental Recordings, learning about his Grammy nomination, learning about Bob the Bobcat, and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> He'll have a lot better stories than I will. Uh, so if you like his music, if you like his stories, if you like what we do here, just remember, everybody, there is a tip jar. You can see it right burned into the video if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. It's right in the description. If you don't have that method of tipping, let us know, and we can help Mr. Brown out and get a tip his way. And with that, I'm going to be quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Brown. Hi, guys. This is my first virtual show. I'm a, I'm a holdout, I suppose. But I couldn't turn this up, turn this down. I'm not so good at speaking right now. I've been hermiting for pretty much this entire, uh, you know, lockdown thing. So, anyways... I have a new record that's done. It's been done for a while. Uh, it was done pre-COVID, and uh, putting a record out right now is kind of a weird thing to do, so I'm sitting on it, but uh, this would be the title track off of that record. Thank you. 
phone, freezing and alone, in a Cadillac in a parking lot of Ellen in December. I put her through the stupid things I do. I think she tried to love me, but you know I don't remember. Switch guitars. It occurs to me that this is a shorter show than I'm used to, so I should move around a little bit. Here. <laughs> so this is a, a 1962 Fender six bass. But um, 
when I picked this thing up, it was a pile of parts. And the guy that I got it from fancied himself some sort of a luthier. I think he was just a tweaker because basically he cut holes in between the pickups and uh, was going to route the whole thing. So it's this was the plan. Luckily he stopped, but he even cut through the plate. So there's a washer holding this whole thing together. But, uh, you know, what would normally be like an $8,000 super rare vintage vase is probably like a $800 uh, slightly used vase. But it works just the way it's supposed to. two sad machines that I own. Uh, this always just sounds sad to me. And steel guitar. They're two things that uh, fit in the sad machine category for me. So I'm going to play one more of this and then switch to something else. I don't want to bum people out on the internet. Mother 
is aware of every single face that stares, wondering what it's like to lose the same one twice. The leaves begin to fall, guitar, some pictures, and I notice all that's left behind to try. Circus is pulling through. But tomorrow the bury you. Three days too late. Three days too late. Three days too late. Three days too late. So we'll shuffle out into the parking lot and agree to have a drink or two. And with the liquor lights and tow, we'll talk about the guy that we used to know and how he wouldn't want us here at all. Now the hearse is pulling through, but that's not really you. They're three days too late Three days too late Three days too late Three days too late Thanks, guys. I changed my mind. I'm going to play one more in this thing. It's a bummer of an instrument, but I just love what it sounds like. So, anyways. It only does sad songs, though. Say a thing Do the words come out right So please go to sleep Cause that won't be tonight I've been up For days And the miles I've gained Are sweet and slow And alone So carry Sweet carry Would you carry me home If I did too much drinking To get on Motels cost money, and the liquor does too. And these days we both know what I choose. These days we both know what I choose. This is my best disguise from a pretty brown eye. say a thing till the words come out right so please go to sleep cause that won't be tonight I've been up for days and the miles I've gained are sweet and slow and alone they're sweet Not sure where to point or whatever, but I do remember that I'm supposed to say, hey, there's a tip jar. Yeah.
on this internet somewhere, wherever that is, wherever you guys are. Um, so tip here. How'd, how'd I do? Did I win Nailed the internet? It. Cool. I'm really good at this. You know, with the music business being in the can, I should probably get into this internet stuff. <laughs> Let's see. What are we doing on time? I have no sense of time. I, I didn't have a sense of time before, and I definitely don't after the last year. We are doing fantastic. It's March, right? <laughs> was it? We just blinked, and it was March last year. Yeah. It's been a weird, weird, weird year, man. For those of you tuning in, I hope you're all safe and well, given the circumstances. I'm good. I've been hermiting a bunch. 2020 was a crazy year, like absolutely crazy for everybody, and I get that. But my 2020 started out with having cancer surgery, and I thought I, I played 200, 200. 267 shows in 2019, which is a lot, but pretty normal. 200 is normal for me. And, and I remember thinking at the end of that year, I just want to break. I don't want to play any more shows. I want to break. I don't want to play. And it's that, be careful what you wish for. It's like 2020 rolled around, cancer surgery, recovered from that. Couldn't get surgery because I had to wait to get a COVID test. And I couldn't get a COVID test because they weren't available yet. So pushed surgery back, pushed the year in a little bit with some gigs that I did have booked. And then by the time I healed up, Everything was non-existent, but it's also been like one of the, we were talking about this earlier, it's been one of the more fruitful years I think I've had, like lots of figuring out maybe who I am, who I'm not, removing the live music thing in general, which is, uh, I don't think you could have pried that off of me, like the idea that there'd be nowhere to play, there'd be no gigs, even if they're bad gigs, nothing, fascinating. Anyways.
wait for me till June. You wait for me till June. You wait for me till June. somewhere is that <laughs> internet tip here or here it's here it's right here right where am i here the tip on the internet is here <laughs> i'm really good at this i should mention that okay anyways let's see so i'm from geneseo uh there's a bar called kelly saloon it's burned down once it took it burning down to me become unbanned for life um saying the flare was a good thing. Sorry, I probably shouldn't say it. Um, just, just kidding. Uh, there's a bar called Kelly's. I love it very much. Uh, often when I play this song, the, there's a line in the song that uh, last night I was drinking at Kelly's Saloon, and that is very often true if I'm in town. Um, in this case, it's not true. I didn't make it there last night. But because, you know, COVID. But this is about drinking at Kelly's and wanting to be anywhere other than that. And in this particular case, there's a ghost town in Letchworth called Gibsonville. And uh, this is about going to Gibsonville and doing the same thing, day drinking. But somehow it feels classier than drinking at 2 o'clock on a Tuesday at a bar. Anyways. <laughs> 
This town grows too quickly While others die slow These strip malls of cancer She's just waiting to go But when you drive up past the village line Out of the town and up in the pines you find You're up near Gibsonville Last night I was drinking At Kelly's saloon a glass of brown liquor started shaking in the room. So I went out back to get myself right. Up. Caught the glare of the cop car lights and I wished I was up in Gibsonville. And I wish I was up in Gibsonville. Said a lot of things that I wish I could make clear. But did a lot of things that just won't keep me here. I really wish I could, but I know I don't belong here. Well, I don't even know it's right until I know it's gone. I know it's gone. I flew out of Boston, cause I'm tired of that town. Shot right to the hotel. But there was no one around So I drove my past the village line Out of the town Out of the pines And I'm fine Up in Gibsonville And now I'm fine Up in Gibsonville Now I'm fine here Up in Gibsonville Which one leaves me more alone? You know I'm 
trouble, but I try. I keep on moving, but I can't decide. Decides. And so begins the measured mile of summer teeth and crooked smiles. I'll get so tired pushing up this hill. But it's all that pays the bills, bills, bills. I threw a ring into the well. I wished it all the way to hell. I burned my youth with the ash I hold. Cause what survives is made of gold, gold, gold. All the cars keep rushing by. All the cars keep rushing by All the cars keep rushing by But nothing's moving here 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 Nothing's moving Nothing's moving here. Nothing's moving here. There's a moon tonight. High over the liquor lights. And it's brighter than I ever liked. That's why I stayed down here. That's why I stayed down here. Thank you, guys. The song I write just for you In a style I never use Just to prove I can change you said I do the same thing every time The same songs, the same lines Now I think you're right Last night I came to your room I saw him sleeping with you Under your arms holding tight And I watched as you slept there with him Through your curtains so thin Under a stale TV light So I don't say a word. I need love, I need religion, but drugs, but when push comes to shove, I need a crutch. Just another friendly reminder while our friend 
reacquaints himself with a different instrument here. You're watching Front Row Bob Shop Records featuring the one and only Mike Brown. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Another friendly reminder, tip jars right on the screen or in the description of the video, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, as we say. Might as well take this opportunity to say that we have even more awesome shows coming up in March. We've got one next Thursday with our dear friend Jeremiah. We're going to be doing a very special show with him. And then we have an awesome Saturday show featuring a guitar trio following that. And then uh, the Philippe Lem trio. Great jazz group we love having here to round up March. And then uh, I think you all should just about stay tuned to some upcoming April announcements. I won't give give away any details yet, but those are coming up soon. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for Mr. Mike Brown. Thanks, guys. So this is a 1911 Gibson Mandicello. We were talking about this earlier, but found this from a buddy in Florida. He sent me a message. Said, hey, I found there's this big mandolin that's for sale. Immediate, I was immediately thinking, oh, man, it's got to be Mandicello. He sent me a photo of this. Like, so uh, it was at a random music store in Florida. He walked into it, and it lived up until it ended up in Florida. It was on the island of Malta, and I have shipping records for this thing being mailed in 1911 on a ship to Malta, and it lived its whole life with four generations uh, on Malta, and then one of the family members moved to Florida. It ended up in Florida. They weren't playing it, but uh, it's funny because it's, it's the nicest vintage instrument as far as stuff I tour with. It's in the best shape and it's easily the oldest because 1911, 1924, both of the Fenders are 60, 61, 62, and my Gibson is 26, but easily the oldest and for being the, what is it now, 100, 1911, that's to be 111, 111, is my math right there? For being 111 years old? 2021, 100, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, 20, yeah, this is 1911. We're, We're in 2021, so yeah. Before. 110, 110 years old. There's my math. Musicians in math. Me in math, at least. So anyways, here's uh, another sad song on a 1911 Manicello.
been washed by the hands of thieves At the corner of six in Los Angeles The corner of six in Los Angeles The corner of six in Los Angeles guys so i've been writing a bit again finally the beginning of this whole covid thing i my writer's block was crazy i think i talked to a lot of writers that just couldn't write but uh with some of the current changes in our you know political realms some stuff's opened up but this is the last thing that i started working right before covid hit uh i was sitting at kelly's saloon it's the, thing that, the place that all great things happen and uh kind of came up with this one, and I've only played it live a handful of times, but uh, I think Mam Nichelle is probably a good bet for it as any. So this is about all things Kelly's. There's a bartender in here, there's various things that all happen there that people that uh, spend time at that particular establishment would know, but anyways. Sit behind the bar, waiting for the rejects on a zombie's birthday. Hang your inhibitions on a barroom Christmas tree. Sisters of the seventh generation land deal, war clubs in the library like salutations. A history erased to curate what feels like free. I'm not the worst you've ever seen, but that's not saying much for me. I hope he's half the man you seem to think I'd be A message sent to self saying slow it down A screenshot in the middle so it's not forgotten To pretend or feel connection just a dollar at a time Pictures paint a canvas that define an age Buried in the countertop beneath the epoxy An image of our elders sweet abandoned in their prime I'm not the worst you've ever seen But that's not saying much for me I hope he's half the man you seem to think I'd be I'm not the worst you've ever seen But that's not saying much for me it's half the man you seem to think I'd be This star is the ruin of a city This infection is a city in bloom I don't believe this means that much to you Hear the sound of a hammer swinging To the tune of a concrete floor I don't believe I've ever missed you don't believe I've ever missed you more. Remember all the pretty girls before the war? Decades of indifference and disinformation. Lovers treading water while the fires burn on shore. Supported of a ghost in an empty church. Shackled by the shambles of his reputation. Singing to a silence of a laugh outside the door. Machine, favorite sad machine. 
<laughs> that is weirdly good. <laughs> That's close to disconcerting. <laughs> Sorry, am I out of the out of shot now? Oh, I'll make it work. Okay. <laughs> Here I am screwing it all up. Tell the audience about Bob. Bob the Bobcat. So, yeah, so, Bob the Bobcat came from Silver City, New Mexico, and he was in a bar um, in the early 1900s, like maybe maybe late teens, I guess. But uh, I found him in an antique store in Silver City, New Mexico, and. Uh, Basically, he'd been living in this antique store as the bar that he used to sit on top of slowly crumbled, and uh, I'm thankful that they saved him. But he's permanently um, unimpressed, <laughs> which is why I like to bring him, because if I ever get too full of myself, I look over, and he's just like, you're doing really good for you, buddy. And uh, he kind of keeps me, keeps me uh, centered. It's a lie. Um, he, used to, he did tour with me for a while, but the hair started coming off, and uh, it got pretty creepy. So he now lives at the studio. But that's Bob. Junkies and jokers in the alleyway. Girls paid to smile and the men are pay. They say home is where you lay your head. But I don't sleep much lately. Just look what they did to that beautiful girl from New York City. She said she moved down here to get some sun. She collects the wilted flowers from the church steps on Sunday. She does not know my name. You know, I used to know this girl from Northern California. She had a fear of love and she knew how to run. So tonight I'm going to go home alone and I will not call you and I will not sleep till you're out of my So morning comes and you're still there, but now I'm six days from Sunday. California bound on a house with wheels and a half bottle of bourbon. Quick song. All right, I got time for one more. Oh, you got, dude, you got 15 more minutes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go a little slower here then. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more on this and then I'll do something on another thing. All right. First time that I've felt in years Anything about me that's worth showing Meant my heart with sticks and will And set it to a rhythm that your legs can use You can hold my hand till the morning comes But sooner or later our days are done is yet to come The best is yet to come Oh my love I've grown tired of banging drums 
pumps and bells and wires and alcohol and liquor lights and drugs that keep me up all night. At 21, I was on the run, a lonely kid, a privileged son, a broken heart with a loaded gun that I'd use to blow away anyone that would break my heart, break my soul, or try to strip away all the rock and roll. Sooner or later our days are done The best is yet to come The best is yet to come First time that I fell in years, anything about me that's worth showing. Anything about me that's worth showing. Thanks, guys. That is gonna haunt my dreams, Matt. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night tonight. And I'm like, where is that cat in my house? <laughs> and it's going to be Matt meowing at me from the ether. Fuck. Fuck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 9 o'clock, which means Mike, Mr. Mike Brown has got 10 more minutes here. We're also going to bring back a, a tradition we did at the start of this, uh, reading out some great comments, because y'all watching have just been so fantastic with commenting on YouTube. David Savage says, hey, Mike. <laughs> Elizabeth Goodfellow says, beautiful. Evan Nordstrom has been opining left and right, but my favorite comment of his is, dude, your beard is nar-nar, dig. <laughs> I'd love to say that this is a COVID beard, but this is just pretty much normal business all, here. All, all, all I know is that our comment section is peaked. <laughs> it will never get any better than that. Jim Kimball says, fine, my friend. Alicia Garcia says, Mike Brown is a remarkable musician. Eric Hector says, can't believe that that cat has been so still this whole time. <laughs> Tina Cook says, hey, Mikey. Oh, Evan actually started saying, you are so handsome, Mike Brown. I knew he was going to get weird with it. <laughs> he started there, and it just it went to... I was going to say a minute ago, Evan, don't get weird. <laughs> he said, beer is, beard is nar, nar so can't beat that. John Weatherby says, sounds great, bro. And Stephanie Woodworth says, love you, buddy. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, we've got that tip jar. It's on the screen. It's on the description, whether you're watching Facebook or YouTube. If you don't have that method, please comment email us make sure you, that your tip gets to mike brown and ladies and gentlemen one more time both here and at home let's give a round of applause for mr mike brown thank you
wheels will roll as long as this feels new. And I won't go home until this job is through. Those nights alone make me think of you. So hold on to words that I just can't say. Instead, I got a line that says you're further away than I can drive. Charleston, I was drinking out of New Orleans, tonight I'm sleeping in my van in Richmond, just trying to keep myself clean. Just what you gonna do when I need you, honey, what you gonna do when I'm down? Cause I won't fall apart if you won't pick me up, do you still want to keep me around? I wish you were the one, I wish you everything and more, I wish you Shows. Won't buy the beer and the bloody nose And the waitress in the corner with the old tattoo of Jesus Said he won't believe this, but it's time to go When I catch a train to Mexico I want to listen to the radio in a language that I don't understand I wish you
with the base six. Hold on. Shop, by the way, is the best record store anywhere. So, if you're looking to find something, this is the place to come. There's a box right in front of me that says Oddball Weird right here, and I'm very interested to know what's in that box. I like that it's right on the end, too. That cat's. <laughs> That's where the cat's been this whole time in the Oddball Weird box. Thanks, guys. You didn't call Sweetwood. Time. You fell in love with the bottom line I got a bottom and a book to help me through Seven years of severed heads Dotted lines and unmade beds I made a mask for everyone I ever knew A certain trying circumstance I lost your love to a French boy's dance And a list of all the things that I can't do Now you're standing right in front of me A tattered flight cut in the breeze Halfway down to mark the death of someone new Are you really gonna leave this time For the western borderline You think things will be just fine Back in California It's a modern machine No one really wants me clean And someone stole my keys So let the whiskey drive tonight face reminded me too much of you so I packed the van and drove all night slept up by the harbor lights and woke up with the ocean in my shoes and hell is no surprise softer light for sunken eyes and no one tells you no or what to do and I love it there cause no one cares if you're breaking broke or just unaware word it right and they'll come back to you time for the western borderline you think things will be just fine back in California it's a modern machine no one really wants me clean someone stole my keys someone stole my keys so I'm begging please let the whiskey drive tonight. Let the whiskey drive tonight. Let the whiskey drive tonight. weird box got me a little off my game at the beginning because I was truly starting to play thinking about that box and then I was like oh shit I gotta start playing anyways thank you guys well I've been 
driving, I've been riding, I've been beating the pavement, old man to New Orleans. I've been biting, I've been hiding the nails on my fingers, trying to figure out what it means. 